The end of whaling in the early 80s was a huge international effort to save these giants from extinction. I think we all want to live on a planet where whales exist. These animals have evolved in these amazing, incredible ways. But there's another problem that people generally are not as aware about the issue of ships. As we know, the most important threat for whales. Large ships have bigger engines and travel faster. A whale in the path is like, like nothing, like a little rock in the road. Everyone wants to know how many whales are getting hit by ships. What we see is only a mere fraction. I would say it's only about 10 to 20 percent that we see that washed ashore. All those animals hit by propellers will sink very quickly. All those whales that are offshore will almost never be reported. The speed of some ships now is such that there's not much time. The ships have become so big that they don't even know they've hit the whale. This new threat has grown fourfold over the last two decades. The total global fleet of merchant shipping is 53,000 ships. We have created that way or relation with nature. So then is how do we change it? The trends are, are there, they're clear, but there are things as well we can do as a shipping community. Separate whales and ships either through permanent routing changes, that's the best way of, of doing it. The smallest possible uh, deviation for the ships can make a large impact on the whales. It can actually protect their habitat. Working more directly with the scientists and coming to us with solutions. I think the action that we need is recognizing we can do better than we're doing right now. We can't just rely and put the fate of a species on the goodwill of some who will do it. The ship traffic now is new in the history of the planet. The whales are not going to suddenly figure out how to stay clear of these ships. It is up to us.